I asked you why chess grandmaster Hans Niemann declared he'd play chess naked. What have you got? Maisie? Maisie couldn't believe this. I can't ask, this can't be Chess true. has gone rock and roll. <laughs> and I think that it was kicked off by that Netflix chess lady show. The Queen's Gambit? The Queen's Gambit, exactly. Yeah, but I don't remember this episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, unless I've dreamed it, I told Maisie that the chess guy cheated by having vibrating anal beads to tell him when to do the move. I think the first half of that sentence is correct. <laughs> this is going to shock you looking at me, but I'm a big chess fan. <laughs> <laughs> I play a lot of online chess, and this was a big story in the chess community. Yeah, yeah. yeah the anal beads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, of course it's true. Yeah. Yeah. How deep can you play? How deep can I play? How deep can you play? Well, I grew up in Bristol, and it was the only way to get out of the gangs, Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But does this mean that now, you know, where you, you get, like, drugs tests in the Olympics, if you're at a chess tournament, you have to drop your trousers and open yeah. your and cheeks? Cough. And cough. God. <laughs> but the weird thing is, you could be fully naked and still have anal beads yeah. up there. Yeah. Fine. So it doesn't really <laughs> prove anything. But we, we don't know if this is true, though. Right? No. This was an accusation that was made. Did he actually get his kit off or just No, he didn't. He, he, he threatened off. He's now suing because he's saying, you've ruined my reputation. Take a look at this guy. So he gets <gasps> interviewed. No. This, I would, I would argue, is a man that needs to get to the gents at very high speed because an anal bead needs to be retrieved. Take a look. Hans, yesterday was a terrible uh, day for you, and today you start out with a masterpiece. How would you summarize it? Chess speaks for itself. Is it something special? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, Jimmy, in the chess community, that's how we roll. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a mic drop. <laughs> All right, a Hollywood hunk, Luke Evans, wanted to know what was so surprising about yes, Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter Edward Hardy at the Milton Keynes Open. What do you all think? Well, I didn't know, but Maisie smashed it. I think, oh, well, it might be wrong, so don't. But it, um, <laughs> if it's right, I smashed it. And <laughs> it, it was Tom Hardy, the actor. I thought it was Tom Hardy as well. Oh, yeah. oh you're right. Yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> it just is very, very surprising. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't come to Ed Hardy. Didn't he come to something else like Ed, Ed Elbow or something? No, no, it's, it's uh, Ed, Edward uh, Hardy. He oh. went under his... He, that's his birth name. Oh, really? And the referee said afterwards, he said, a lot of people think, oh, Tom Hardy, he's just a superstar. No, you get him on the mat and he'll smash you. Wow! <laughs> he, Who'd have thought Tom Hardy was legitimately he's hard? He's very strong. He came round my house one day and he carried me upstairs. Oh, God, that's a dream. He carried me upstairs. That's Any exciting. memory of what happened next? This... <laughs> Is that when you ate the white saveloy? <laughs> All right, I asked you what World Cup sponsor Budweiser tweeted after alcohol was banned from stadiums. What did they put? Okay, We've what? written that this is awkward. Is that uh, right? Did, do you mean just your team or...? <laughs> <laughs> but also the... Is that what Budweiser... Something like that? This is awkward, uh, Rose? We thought it was, didn't yeah. we, something like yeah, that? Yeah, oh, that was awkward or something, yeah. Totally awks. Or oh, awkward, man. Oh. Awks, lol. OK, yeah. what, what did you...? Just, we uh, didn't know, so I just put... It's water anyway, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you guys are right. They tweeted, well, this is awkward. <laughs> and then the next day they deleted it pretty quick. And then the next day they said, new day, new tweet. Winning country gets the buds. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. I asked you what tennis star Nick Kyrgios accused a spectator of during the Wimbledon final. What would you all put? Stealing oh. his anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've put something... She, he said something like, she's drunk 500 beers or something. Yeah. It was yeah, some yeah. kind of... Drunk, drunk accusation. Lady, oh. Drunk lady, wasn't it? Drunk lady. Very drunk. Drunk lady, OK, so you, what have you gone for? so drunk. I think you said oh, 700 beers. Oh, 700 oh that's, that's exactly right. I think you got a point for 500, it's near enough, but very drunk lady, 500 beers. Of course, she, she said she had two drinks and she sued him and he had to pay £20,000 to her mm. favourite charity. Wow. wow. So, cos apparently she wasn't... She was, like, a big supporter. But, like, he was being a bit crazy. What, what did you get, Maisie, Catherine? Um, well, it's the classic story. White wine, white women, yeah. don't mix. <laughs> All of us who've been on stage at Christmas know that. <laughs> oh, OK. Ronaldo, OK, so I asked you uh, what his new goal celebration was. Oh, Maisie, you watch a lot of football. Surely no, you got know, this. No, I don't watch this prick. Um... <laughs> she doesn't like him. She likes the lionesses only. I love the lionesses. I can't believe this is the sports round. We didn't get one question on the Euros. Yeah, Jimmy. Best day of my life, that. But, yeah, let's talk, talk about this. Dickhead. Um, <laughs> what, what's his name? He used to do this thing where he went zoom, <laughs> and now it's something based on a hobby. So fishing, fishing like this, and then he does the fishing. You think he goes fishing? Bit, reel it in. Yeah, yeah. He gets another player Celebrate. to go. Like All right. Oh, you know, that's incorrect. Richard, Stephen, what have you got? No disrespect to the North, but I wondered if um, 
Gangnam Style had only just got to Manchester. <laughs> and he, was, he was doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or, or, Rose. Or yes. It looks like you've well, got this. I, I don't know this, but Rose was confident. I can't say I endorse this or otherwise until we find out she's correct. Oh, but you come seem on. to know. Well, I'm, I, I think it's taking a nap. He like mimes taking a little nap. That that is the right answer. Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy Carr, the guy you just saw in that video. Thanks for watching it because uh, somehow I get money from that. I I don't know how. I don't I don't know. P probably probably it filters through. Some sort of advert that you watched before you watched the video, maybe? Or maybe you subscribed? Anyway, thanks for watching it. And somehow that benefits me. And hopefully I'll see you at a live show at some point further down the sunny road. Good luck.